Hello everyone, Jazz here again. Uh, and I want to do another app review. And so this one is called GoLingo, which to me sounds like a, kind of like an offshoot of Duolingo, but I will be reviewing it and I'm gonna show you whether I like it or not, or if I recommend it. <laughs> But at the same time, I was looking at it because it's had this sort of like setup where it's very, um, um, it, it's kind of reminds me of like a game, like, you know, like where you like go different, there's different locations within that setting and you have different conversations based on where the location you're at. So I was like, okay, I will see what this is about. It is available in four languages, English, French, Spanish, and German. What I did like about it was that when he first when you first log in or sign up, it actually will ask you what your native language is and what your which of those languages you're trying to learn. So it's kind of like where it's, it's kind of like Duolingo in a sense where you can actually learn certain languages through other languages. Because um, like, for example, I learned some Catalan through Spanish, or Spanish to Catalan versus English to Catalan. I feel like it focuses mostly on speech and it's very, um, like slow and then they break it down and then they it's more of like breaking down sentences which is something that I really don't necessarily like I like the idea of learning how to build your own sentences so it's very like um, they give you like things to talk about in these particular settings a lot of them are very introductory from like the level that I got at I'm gonna show you I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna actually look at um, what these look what this program looks like okay so we're gonna look at this right here so this is where this is the email that i got when i signed up they show you a bunch of updates for whatever new things are doing then um we'll, we can start the lesson also you can see this is um december as we are as we are um recording this town kind of vibe you can actually move it around with your keypad and your arrow keys um, or I think also as well as your mouse, but they have it to where you are looking at different scenarios you're gonna most likely encounter while you know in you know a day-to-day -day life. So <laughs> that's what this is. Um, and then yeah, so what we'll do is we'll I'll show you a lesson. So let's see where do we want to go. Let's go to inside this house. Why not? So you have subscription, like and dislike, stay in contact, and speaking to you. Or speaking about yourself. Okay. So, yeah. So let's talk about staying in contact. So all the lessons are going to have this particular pattern. It's lesson one is always learning expressions, putting them in the right order, and having a conversation. It is exactly the same for every single scene that they may have. So you can either listen to the conversation beforehand or you can actually just start the exercise. As you can see, you can actually choose your um, the language you want to start or um, end with, like the start language you want to learn from. So you get to select that. Um, I'm learning Spanish, so I'm learning it French to Spanish, but I will translate for those of you who don't understand either language. J'adore ça, so I would like that. So let's stay in contact. Me encantaría. Okay, so repeat it. <laughs> and that's it. Oh gosh. Es zero seis tres zero cinco zero seis zero dos. It didn't even let me finish. Um, like, so I think this is what, basically your area code, your country area code. C'est plus, it's plus 33, which I think that's France. No. Yeah. Es más 33. Cool, recognize that. 
Et bien sûr, il y a force. Si, por supuesto. Do I ask you for my email? Ok. Es mía, golingo.com. Ok, I have to try again. Es mi uh, golingo.com. I didn't understand that. I'm going to ignore it. It's so quick. So that's the first one. They basically give you all the, this conversation. It's just all conversations. This is literally the entire app. Okay, so let's go to the next one because there's three parts. So we're going to go through that one. And they're really short. So you don't have to worry about, oh, is this going to be... Um, if you're not worried about whether or not like this is gonna be like a long drawn out thing. Me encantaría. There's only one option. I don't know why we're having to click. Es 063050602020. I basically have to practice these. <laughs> okay. Es más 33. I like that there's an ignore. <laughs> sí, por supuesto. Es mi golingo.com. So it is the same conversation, but you're getting it from different angles. So this one, it's like, and I've seen in other examples where they'll have multiple components, like what if it's a whole sentence, then they'll break up parts of the sentence, and then you'll have to choose the order in which it goes. But this one, they're literally just, it's, they gave everything at one. Okay, so the last one is like just, me gustaría. Like that. Es zero seis tre, tres zero cinco zero seis zero dos zero. Gotta put you on the spot here. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore <laughs> for the sake. Es más 33. Uh, sí, por supuesto. Es mi uh, golingo.com. <laughs> okay, more conversations. So, uh, really, what I'll just say is I think it's going to be really repetitive after a while because it's the same type of exercises. I'm also seeing that, um, you know, the accent. One of the things I noticed uh, from earlier when I tried when I tried this out is that it's a European Spanish accent. So you'll notice like with the C E and the C I, um, and that part. Like, and also I've noticed the conjugation. Some of them, the phrases will use vos conjugation, which um, I know in like in some dialects, specifically in like Latin America, I know that a lot of them don't use. Um, many don't use. Um, Vos, they usually use tu or um, or usted, so it really depends. Like it's because especially I think this is a great thing. Like if it's overall, like you're trying to get it, kind of get a um, overall sense of um, a language, um, like in terms of pronunciation, phrases that you just want to have like to go to. You know when you're talking to people, but I would not really recommend this in terms of, like if you're trying to be able to be autonomous and be able to make your own sentences. So if you wanted to like think, like have the freedom to think outside of these phrases, that's going to be really difficult um, over time. Um, even if you complete all the lessons, my thing is, is that, you know, again, language is very, it's, it's very nuanced. So I like that there's a focus on pronunciation. Um, so you have the option to speak. The third exercise literally puts you on the spot. It's like, here's this, here's, I'm going to say something. And then you, you have to give your response. And it's like, the microphone's like, all right, ready, go. And I'm like, oh, okay. And you have to basically memorize these things. So it's like, if you don't know them, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so it's just, it, I just, that's one of the things that I noticed right away. Um, yeah, it's just memorizing things. Um, it's really great for like traveling, like like I said, it just getting those, just getting general senses of um, what to really say. I like the visual concept because it's like, oh, like look at all these places I can go and all these different things I can learn. It's like, oh, I'm gonna learn phrases in this particular place. If you go down here, there is a train station um, because it is December and it is the 14th of December as we're filming this. Um, is that 
they have this little thing here where you can actually talk to Santa Claus, I guess, or have Christmas conversations. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go look at this because I'm just curious. So these are actually no, it's holidays. So it's like Réveillon. So basically New Year's Eve. Then you have eating at Christmas, Christmas traditions, New Year's Day. Um, uh, then you have a second level of eating or of what to eat at Christmas, Christmas traditions, level two, three, level three. Yeah, so you'll basically see here that that's the level. So um, I'm kind of curious as to what is what you would normally say or be talking about. I'm just gonna do the expressions, so we're not gonna do the, all three of the exercises. Okay, start conversation. Whoa, that was fast. Necesito ir a comprar lo de la china de Navidad. So I need to go and buy, go to buy for Christmas dinner. So there's also a button here to translate. So you can actually hold it down as I can see. I have to buy the, the Christmas dinner. ¿Qué vas a preparar? Okay, so I have, and it's like the order, or I think this is pato, duck. <laughs> I still don't know. Aún no sé. So that's the whole conversation. But yeah, I like the visual concept. Um, you can always, you can either go back or you can also go to the map or to your profile. But going back to the map, I like the visual concept. I think it makes it more like visually appealing. But again, like uh, in looking into that, I I don't know. Like this is something for absolute beginners. If they're like, you know, like I said, I just want to know phrases and just how to get around. That would basically be my only recommendation in terms of how uh, in terms of using this app i feel like there's probably room for growth this is a new app i've never seen golingo before i found it on instagram as i mentioned so it kind of, like i said it just kind of reminded me of of duolingo so i'm kind of that's like in my mind the comparison i like that you can skip around and find whatever one ones interest you you can skip certain ones you can go back it's like i don't want to do this particular exercise you can go wherever you know you can do whatever you want it's very much your own you know, to each their own, um, compared to like Duolingo where it's like you can't unlock certain levels until you've mastered or like you have like more than a certain number of questions correct on a lesson. And it just kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of progress because it's like, oh, I gotta go through this, especially, you know, if you've already had some experience with those particular languages. Then you also have um, the aspect you can take like shortcut tests and then, you know, if you get a, above a certain number, then number of, like if you get under a certain number of questions wrong, then it's like, okay, yeah, you can unlock this and it's perfectly fine. Um, I see that this is primarily a European Spanish uh, accent where it's like using words like th with a th. Um, with the you know th sound with a ce and a ci i feel like with the third exercise they just kind of put you on the spot it's like here's this exercise there you go <laughs> but it's like i said it's just based on what you feel like oh i really want to know how to talk about this this you, like i said you're being able to choose your own location it's very versatile in that way um i like that they break down sentences for you so that you're able to pr pronounce each different part of the sentence you know versus having to be like hey here's this whole sentence and repeat the whole thing some of them i feel like they you can't break them down really any further so it's kind of like oh you know how do you like one of the things i noticed there was an exercise i did a while back where it was like buenas noches and it was like in a bar or something like that and i'm like what is like do you say that like at a bar you just go and be like hey good night um you know which i don't know it sounds weird to me normally you know good night is generally in a lot of languages that i speak it's mainly something you say before you go to bed or when you're leaving you know it's mostly like good evening so it's like in italian you wouldn't say buona notte you would say buona sera um to say hey good evening like as a greeting so that's kind of weird 
um, in those cases. But anyway, yeah, so pronunciation, um, my cons are pronunciation, you know, they break they break everything down for you and you know like i said you can just basically learn the basics of what you just want to be able to communicate in certain scenarios my thing is it's like i said memorizing i don't like memorizing phrases so if you're above like i would never recommend it to my students i personally teach because because we're on a track to because the way i teach is that we're on track to learning how to you know grammatical structure um being able to you know spontaneously be able to use the language this is not spontaneous this is memorizing phrases so if you're in situations that are outside of this limited this little <laughs> the little town you're basically gonna it's not gonna be as um you're not gonna have as much to go off of so i hope this is really helpful if you were thinking about using this app i hope this kind of helps you decide whether you decide whether you want to use this or not um and please check out our other videos i do have other apps that i've reviewed and um I'll talk to you in the next one bye <music>